20,000 years ago, the Mombacho volcano behind me blew its top, and half of it landed here in Lake Cosibolco, creating 365 islands. Bad news for the volcano, great news for real estate investment, because you can buy one of these islands for your very own paradise and build on it. You can buy an island off the lake, the Lake Nicaragua, the large lake, in just off the shores of uh, Granada. Granada runs down to the lake and then we have a, a recreation area and the islands run off that. And a number of foreigners and a very large number of local Nicaraguans own their own islands. Most of these letters are owned. Probably 50 to 60 percent are built on uh, to sort of varying degrees and a couple of you know very lovely homes out there that are inhabited uh, almost year round. Mainly used as vacation homes or holiday rentals rather than all-round living but um, very pretty and a nice thing to do. Sarah introduces us to one expat who has created his own island paradise. Let's meet him. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Hi, Walter. Nice to see hey, you. Nice to meet you. Walter. Howard. Nice, Howard. To, meet you. nice to meet you. Thanks for letting us on your property. This oh. is fantastic. Sure, sure. Welcome. It's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. How long have you lived here? Um, well, I live in the States, but I right. had this property for about 10 years. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And did yeah. you build it, or was it like this when you... No, when I first bought it, it was pretty much rocks. Uh -huh. yeah, rocks in the lake, So yeah. you designed it and everything? Pretty much. So is, is air conditioning important? Is it common here? Now, as my shirt all too clearly illustrates, I am constantly challenged by the tropical heat. So information on keeping cool is of great interest to me. It can be important to our clients, but we usually tell them if they pick the right spot in Nicaragua, somewhere that's breezy like in his letter on one of the mountains, and they design well to catch the cross breezes, then they can generally do without it. Some people do like to perhaps turn it on in the evening, you know, for overnight, but mostly during the day you can do without it in Nicaragua for much of the year. Right. Another attractive feature of living on your own island is privacy. But just how private are they? Oh, it's very private. Yeah, yeah, even with all the boats and people like us knocking on your door and saying, can we have a look around? <laughs> they have to knock on my door before they can come out. <laughs> yeah, I noticed it was heavily yeah. gated, quite yeah. rightly. But yeah. you, you don't get fed up of uh, the tourists all gawping in? No, 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 not at all. Actually, that was one of the main reasons why I decided to build my home here versus the city. You don't hear the cars, yeah. the, you know, the noise of, you know. And at night time, the privacy, even the, during the daytime, you know. They can look, but they cannot touch. Uh -huh. These houses are a great lifestyle buy, but they're also a sound investment. Many owners are renting these island retreats out as holiday homes. So here, you can build your own dream home and make money when you're not here. Not a bad deal. It's not for sale, sadly. I'd buy it like a shop, but two problems. A, it's not for sale. B, I've got no money. Mind you, some locals get to live here for free. Vení. Si vos sos hermano Gustavo, no jodidas.